now I can see, I, I mean, I decided to make a, a ring out of this, but after all the bending and forming that's got to be done to put this into a, a ring form, I can see why it's used now just to connect two pieces this way and make something longer. Or if you want to add a piece of tool steel to a piece of mild steel or something like that, I don't think the, uh, I think it's really supposed to be used to make a, a hoop or a ring out of. But I guess that's uh, what you do when you, you know, I came up with what I thought would be easier and a simpler way to do it rather than holding two pieces and connecting them. But I thought this might be kind of neat, but it was really hard to get all that, uh, what do you want to interlock or into place. see what happens though. The idea is just, it's called the cleft weld. So, like I, I had used this, I don't know, about 12 years ago to make a pair of dividers. And the dividers, the body of the dividers were made out of mild steel. And I wanted the tips to be made of tool steel, so I used this method to do that. Again, it was two pieces connected to add tool steel to mild steel in a straight line rather than a hoop or a ring. But we'll see how it turns out. I mean, I know I can get it to well, but. I'm gonna do one more weld on that. See if I can get it a little bit more seamless. Uh, right now I'm kind of feeling like that saying, uh, won the battle, lost the war. That's how I feel right now. I'll get it, but not the way I'd do it if I were to do it again. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. I think a lot of the forge welding stuff, I mean, I mentioned a few things um, in an earlier, earlier in the video, but, um, you know, a lot of the forge welding is, is the setup and being able to hold on to it. Like, if you were to do, I would say, more than 10 or 15 or 20 of something and you couldn't hold on to it and were kind of fumbling around a little bit, with the wrong pair of tongs, it would probably be worth it to either modify an existing pair of tongs that you had, or make a pair for the the actual application that you're doing. It'll make a huge difference. I mean, this this pair works, but it's putting some gouge marks in the ring 
while I'm holding it, which, you know, if this were for actually something that is going to be used in a finished piece, it would be a lot of fixing the, the gouge marks that I've created. There's our forge welded ring done with a cleft weld. So that actually turned out all right. 